Jake. Your father always said he wanted you to be a pilot. He said a lot of things. I'm not a hero like he was. John, not yes. only do you star in Pacific Rim Uprising, mm -hmm. but you also produce. What was that like as an actor moving into that role? He was wearing two hats, I mean, but it, but it was fun though. I mean, it's um, an interesting perspective from both ends, but obviously knowing acting, it was I was more intrigued to find out what it would be like from producing. I was involved in the process early, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it was good old time. I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, this is your third or fourth kind of sci-fi project. Do you just really love the genre? Yeah, you it's tell me whether I'm wrong or not, are you? fourth. Fourth, okay. I think. Yeah. yeah, I love the genre. I love the genre. Mm -hmm. um, but in between that, I've I've done dramas as well, but just yeah. not dramas that are obviously as big as uh, as that. Mm -hmm. But I love exploring genre uh, genres as long as they are roles that if you put the same characters in the same room, you mm -hmm. could go. They're significantly different. Speaking of genres, is there a genre that you haven't tackled yet and that you really want to? Um, I haven't done a comedy. I was. Okay, I was thinking that when I was watching the and movie. I think that's a lot, a lot, of, that's been coming up a lot more after Pacific Rim. Has it? Reason. Yeah, because there's moments of it, your comedic timing, I'm not just saying this to you because mm -hmm. I'm sitting across from you, mm -hmm. it's really, really good. And then I thought to myself, has he ever done mm -hmm. a comedy? So you should I take my advice. Even the block was a kind of a comedy, but mm. you know, I was still the, the, the dry lad, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, maybe. Because again, a lot of funny bits, the dynamic between yourself and Scott Eastwood was, it was very, very good. The bromance, I'm sure, you know, slash rivalry, I'm sure everyone's saying it to you. But you seem to have a really good dynamic. No, it was fun. It yeah. was fun. I'm laughing because, you know, making ice cream sundaes and interrupting him while he's talking was just yeah. a blast. And he was just like, you know, do, you just do what you want to you yeah. do. I'll, I'll still try and get it out. Mm -hmm. It was cool. It was cool collaborating like that. Um, I wanted to ask you about the drift because I think it's a really interesting concept for a sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you were to introduce that into the modern world, into modern day relationships, that it could help relationships or that it would hinder relationships? I can't lie, man. A lot of relationships are going to be over. <laughs> but at least people being honest with each other. There's no hiding. Yeah, true, true, true. Mm -hmm. But 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 not not. You won't have the 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 yeah yeah nah man yeah. It's, no. it's not going to be a good... Too much honesty. It's, it's, too, it's going to be too much. Okay. It's going to be too much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Scott <laughs> Eastwood, Scott Eastwood, actually, in the next question that I'll ask you, he came up with a very interesting... I asked him, if you could choose a Jaeger co-pilot in real life, who would it be? Ooh. Um, ooh. I'd, I'd, I'd choose... Ooh, I'd choose J.J. Abrams. Good one. Okay, good one. Scott chose Elvis Presley which I thought was like, that That would be very interesting to get into both their heads, I'd imagine. But anyway, J.J. Abrams. That's cool. There you go. J I think J.J.'s yeah, yeah. more of a mind. All right, right okay. Um, <laughs> did you do... <laughs> that Wait, of... Scott said <laughs> Elvis Presley. Yeah, he did. He did. Okay, cool. Um, did you do much research into Idris Elba's character? let's mm. say, because obviously you play his son. Mm -hmm. did, but did you want the character Jake to be completely new or did you want him to have some of the traits that his dad had, let's say, in the first movie? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted him to be, to, to, to feel like he was independent from his dad that because he's got a little bit of issues. But then I wanted fundamentally for the, for the stacker, the, the Pentecost to, mm -hmm. to gradually come out. You know, so by the end you're like, mm, you're, you're, you're your father's son, you're Jake, but you've still got that in you. So okay. it was a it was a balance. If there's a third Pacific Rim movie, mm -hmm. where can you see Jake's character heading? Ooh, I wonder if he changes as much as we think he's going to change. Um, sometimes characters grow too quick. You might need to pull them on back. It's hard to leave your past, it's hard to leave your life. Mm -hmm. um, so I wonder, I don't know. Mm. It's an interesting one. Very quickly, um, which was more comfortable to wear, the mm -hmm. Jaeger suit or the Stormtrooper suit? The Jaeger suit, hands down. Without a shadow of a doubt. Shad no, okay. shadow of a doubt. Now, you're also known for having, well, I, I don't know, are you known for having, I watched you on the Graham Norton show and you were talking about all the different kind of funny artifacts that you have in your yep. house. Is there now something belonging to Pacific Rim Uprising in your house? Oh, for a few few pieces, actually. Yeah. Yeah, a few jackets. A few, yeah, I've got a good few jackets, good few Pacific mm -hmm. Rim jackets. So it, it is kind of like a thing that you do. Yeah, so it's a little museum collection. You know, the the seventy five year old in myself is starting to really come out oh, real early. You need to control that. Okay. <laughs> thank you, John. Right, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much.